welcome to this week's Faith and Friends. I'm Grace Beck. I'm Abigail Beck. And I'm Nathan Lynch. And this is Anna Lynch. Today we are going to be making PB&J. Oh, that sounds delicious. What do you like in a PB&J? I don't know. Listen. Do you like jelly on it? And peanut butter? All right. That makes a pretty good PB&J. Today Nathan is going to be doing an interview. And he is going to be interviewing a cameraman who risked his life. Now let's do, go to our verse. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That verse just, it's like God did, Jesus did go on the cross to save his life. Yeah. Did you know that WOSN cameramen are dangerous? Recently we found out that one cameraman risked his life to get the best shot. 30, second and six. This is the pitch. This is to Lotz. And he's out across the 39, has the first down yardage, and took out one of our cameramen. <laughs> Help him up. I don't think, are we going to take that shot? Probably not. Make sure he's okay. Do the replay. And Let's take a look at this replay here. Oh, we, we had the uh, the shot here, too. Yeah, Let's take a look do. at this. All right. Oh. That looked like it hurt. That was, that's very dedicated work. Thank you for your service, Bobby. Now we're going to make PB&Js. So, now, peanut butter and jelly is every kid's favorite food, but, like, you gotta have peanut butter and jelly and all the bread, but it's my favorite too. So let's get started making it. So we already have a piece of peanut butter. Now, can you spread that, Nathan? Here's some that, and here's a piece of bread. <laughs> ah! Need some help, Jelly's kind of frozen. <laughs> all right, you want me to help you? All right, ready? See, that jelly is frozen. Ah! <laughs> it's all sure falling is. on the ground. <laughs> Actually, it's all falling on my napkin, too. It's jellyish, you could say. It's a jellyfish. Yeah. Jellyfish. All right. A jellyfish. We're almost done, I hope, with this spreading. Because this jelly is frozen. So. See, I told you. All right. Zach, this jelly's frozen. <laughs> So we have already one piece of peanut butter already on there. So we're going to just put that over. And here, can you give me the peanut butter? OK, I'll get one more piece of bread also. Why? All right. All right, so now let's cut this into a quarter. You need some help? All right, let's cut these into quarters. If this, 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 this was a circle and we cut it, that would be a semicircle. All right. So now we've cut this into quarters, passed that down to um, Would you like to try it? Anna. Here you go, Nathan. Not like that. Yeah, don't eat the jelly. All Nathan, right, let's try this. Pretty good. Anna, how, Anna, how are you liking it? Good. <laughs> All right. We want to thank you for watching this week's Faith and Friends. Oh, yeah. Those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were delicious. We also want to let you know that you can reach us on Twitter, Grace Beck 44. Abigail Beck 44. Nathan Lynch 44. And Anna Lynch 44. Now let's go to our verse. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish Hello. but have everlasting life. We just want to let you know that God sent his son for us to die. And we want to thank you for watching this week. Bye. Well, hello. We are here, though I think we may have been replaced. Our jobs are in jeopardy. What a great segment. <laughs> that was kind of a surprise for us. Actually, that was a video that was put together without our knowledges. 
colleges. We provided the kids. We provided the kids, <laughs> but it was for our company Christmas party. And I have to tell you, when I saw that the very first time, I thought, wow, I'm not so sure what my children will be doing in the future, but they've already got the TV thing figured out, apparently. How funny. And your, your daughter was a natural. She, she led, the, led the charge. Abby was the host, very much like her mom. And uh, just fun to see the kids. Uh, celebrate the birthday edition of Faith and Friends. How about that? What a great birthday surprise. This was uh, just a great way to say thank you for the year that we've had here, and we hope you enjoyed that segment with uh, Nathan and Abby and Grace and Anna. <laughs> that was excellent, just a part of what they did. They, they even did their own Lost Creek Care Center sponsored food <laughs> segment showing how to make the perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich because who doesn't love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And I like how Nathan pointed out that they're circles, but if we cut it in half, it's a semicircle. <laughs> So and we got a, a geom geometry lesson. And meanwhile, my daughter Grace, who um, is is always been kind of very orderly, was dealing with Anna throwing <laughs> throwing the jelly in her face. That was Anna's favorite part. Well, <laughs> eating the hair was also Anna's favorite part. <laughs> Notice the camera behind her. Very creative. But we wanted you know our cameraman Bobby was okay after getting taken out by the football players. It's a dangerous job though. You're on the sidelines and in, in full headgear and. Pads are coming at you, and that's what happens. So, Bobby's all right, though. Bobby was a great sport about all that. You already saw the verse of the day. Let's take a look at what is yet to come in today's show. Sickness season is upon us. Dr. Trudy Peeper is back with some natural tips on how to keep your entire family healthy. And in honor of our one year birthday, we're doing a special concert ticket prize package to an upcoming Nicewanger concert event. Stay tuned to find out how you can win. All that and more coming up in today's show, but first, Jeff Harding's returning to his hometown. The St. Henry graduate helped the Redskins to their first state football title, then went on to a Big Ten championship at Penn State before being drafted by the Detroit Lions in the first round and winning a Super Bowl with the NFL's Pittsburgh Steelers. He made the Christian faith his own while with the Lions and knows the importance of living in a community with fellow believers. Curious, did people invite you to the FCA meeting in Detroit or did you just seek it out and, and see yourself and, and try it out for yourself or did someone invite you? No, I think for most guys you got to be invited because you're kind of looking and you're, you're wondering what those guys are doing and and um, and it's a personal relationship with other other guys whether it's on your team you know I, I don't we have we have some you know all of the Minster team here some some we just have a few guys here but but um, you know it's just like going to church uh, you, you got you know a lot of times if you're not going to church you need a personal invitation from somebody, and it's not going to come from somebody off the street, some street <laughs> preacher, you know, saying, or somebody, even us up here, saying, hey, you know, you should go to an FCA group. It's going to come from a teammate um, inviting you to be a part of that fellowship, is what, you know, what we call it, as a part of that fellowship, meaning it's a friendship that has a lot more to do than with just going out on, on the weekends and just hanging out in school. It's having an identity with one another, and part of your identity is your faith, and saying, you know what, my faith is important to me. Is your faith important to you? Hmm. And if it is, you know, how important is it? Is it, is, it, is it so important that what you do is you go to church on Sunday morning, and then you forget about it? You know, that's basically what I did, and sometimes I'd go on Saturday night to get it out of the way, as dumb <laughs> as that sounds. You know what I mean? Go on Saturday night, all that way, and get my church service out of the way. Um, as if I had something better to do on Sunday morning anyways. So I don't know why I ever did that. But, but you know, me being, me being able to say, you know, how important is your faith going to be to you? Because, it, you know, it's helped me out greatly. Great stuff from Jeff Hardings. Just what an a awesome portion story, yes. of an incredible event that took right. place the day after Thanksgiving. That's 300 right. people. It was a kickoff for St. Henry's FCA group. Also had some folks from Fort Recovery, Minster, Salinas. So very excited what's happening in Mercer County. And you can watch all of Jeff's presentation uh, later on this month on WOSM, but encouraging time for everyone who came out. Hey Andy, this is not the only thing that uh, you've got going with FCA. Of course, lots of things, but in January, there's a leadership event coming up. There certainly is. It's for ministry leaders. So whether you're a pastor or just a volunteer at church, we'd love to have you out. It's a Thursday and Friday for ministry leaders, January 29th and 30th. You can go to district8fca.org if you want to take a look at the information. That's how you register as well. Then for coaches, if you have a coach in your life, we want you to to send them to this retreat, the 30th and 31st with Dan Webster. Talks about authentic leadership of the heart, some awesome material. So we hope to see you there. Great. Well, before we get to that event in January, we first have Christmas. And how about a lasting commemorative gift for one of your hard to buy for family members or friends? Mm. 
We're talking about a DVD copy of a sports event that was broadcast right here on one of our stations. You know, many of you remark on the value of airing full-length sporting events on WOSN and here on WTLW. Turns out that thousands of local high school athletes are seen each year through our sports coverage. You can purchase a copy of your team's event and share it as a Christmas gift. Now, most DVDs are just $15. Blu-ray copies available for a slightly higher cost. You can visit WOSN.TV. Click on the store to see our selection and place your order. DVDs are completed on Wednesday of each week, so if you want to have it in time for Christmas, please get those orders in now. But really, any school in the area we've pretty much had a broadcast for within the last couple years. We'd love to pass those out. Big smile under the tree once a <laughs> student opens it up. I was just checking out the store uh, yesterday and was amazed at the number of broadcasts right. there are. I don't think it's only football or the beginning of basketball season that's available. We've got things from last year, all kinds of things that you can pull out and surprise that loved one with something very unique. And some of those throwback 44 games that Mark featured last yeah. year are, those available are also available as well. So. <laughs> I don't know. You can get them. <laughs> you can get them. Andy knows. We trust him. I'll, just, I'll just film it for you if we can. And then <laughs> On the TV, give you a DVD. just film it. I think they are available, though. Okay. Well, the Christmas season, of course, can be overly busy. Gift giving is seems to take over things. But don't forget to take time with your family. In fact, there are some biblical lessons about family that can be found in the Christmas story of Jesus and his birth. Zach has more. He's with Bill Harris. Well, Bill, if you haven't been there already, you're probably becoming one. Or if you haven't becoming one, you certainly know someone who have had the challenges. We're talking about parents today. Yes. Um, and your series this month about parenting and looking at the parallel of Mary and Joseph, the example that they set forth. And I think parenting is a good issue to focus on because what happens in the home ultimately affects society. So we all have that beginning mm. point. And I think to use Joseph and Mary as the example of parenting and the child that they raised and the accomplishments that yeah. he met is a great one. Certainly a great child. And you yeah. had to pick <laughs> a set of parents, not that they're entirely responsible for, for Jesus, but um, a good example, I think. That is unique to look at Mary and Joseph. You know, we look at them quite often, the story of the birth of Jesus and the raising of Jesus, but we never necessarily or not often look at the parenting aspect and yeah. what they had to go through. And you know, the, the fact that they were willing to become parents under such um, tremendous uh, conditions, you know, um, they were engaged, but they certainly did not expect to become parents right away. Right. And, and the way it all came about, so they, they, they had to be a willingness and an acceptance and a discipline to accept the conditions that God imposed upon them to be parents. Yeah, I mean, you said something before this that was very intriguing, that looking at Joseph and Mary is really a glimpse at the character of, of type of people that God is looking for and yeah. looking to use. Well, you know, in, in Joseph's case, the willingness to accept a ready-made family hmm. That was tremendous. And then he immediately became a tremendous leader of his family and following God, leading his family through dangers when King Herod was out to yeah. kill baby Jesus and the like. And, and for Mary, making herself vulnerable, vulnerable by coming, becoming pregnant hmm. before even becoming married. And the law said she should have been stoned to death. That's right. So it was a tremendous sacrifice for both of them. And you take a look at this and across the month in four separate um, topics. The first one dealing with that, the preparation mm -hmm. for parenting uh, that Joseph and Mary, and you touched on that briefly, but that's really the focus of the first week. It is, and I, I think that if you're going to become a parent, you know, unless it happens and unexpectedly, you need to prepare for that. And nobody can tell you fully what all it will uh, entail, but you need some yeah. mental and spiritual preparation. Yeah, and so this coming Sunday, uh, the second week, the second topic, parenting the early year, the years. Early years. It really yeah. um, focuses a lot on the nativity and, the, and that uh, time period yeah. when Jesus was being born. I think it is so important to capture our children's hearts and minds early on. Hmm. The world is doing that, and that's what the King Herods of the world are doing, seeking to destroy children at an early age. We must seek to captivate their minds and their imaginations and turn them toward God so that they can be productive human beings. That's right. So how do we do that? How did Mary and Joseph do that for Jesus in protecting him from Herod? Well, you see, for instance, when they took Jesus to church, when they took him to the temple, uh, they exposed him to a man named Simeon, who was a prophet and spoke into baby Jesus's life. Hmm. And it's important not to send our children to church, but to take them to church, okay. to set that role model, set that example for them. 
Those are the ways. And spending quality time, not just saying, I, I don't have much time to spend with my children, but the time I do is quality. Yeah. You've got to give them a quantity of quality time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed that you've broken down really in two, two ways that uh, Mary and Joseph did this as a whole. They did expose him to those spiritual experiences yes. in the church, and then they also protected him um, from not only Herod, but the outside world. They had to do that, and I think it's, it's important for both the man and the woman to understand their role in doing so. And, 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 and it's also showing us that when there, the statistics say that when there's a man in the home, the children are more apt to be successful. The role of the man and the role of the woman as parents is so significant in parenting. So today's parents, to, uh, the world we live in today, we don't necessarily have King Herods out there that are out for our children, but we have a lot uh, of situations and things that society tells us that are doing the same thing. Yeah, the King Herods today translate into the drugs and the alcohol and the child abuse and uh, secular humanism, all these things that are seeking to get at the minds and the hearts of our children in addition to trying to get them physically. Hmm. These are the Herods of today that we as parents must be on guard for. That's right. So that's what's coming up this weekend. Your third and fourth parts we'll dip into briefly. Uh, the challenging years, which uh, I'm sure produces a <laughs> chuckle for a lot of people that uh, isn't all the years challenging in parenting. They, but they really Specifically, are. you're talking about the, kind of the teen years and, and that. Exactly. And those are the hair raising uh, years. And I think it is important that we not just try to be friends with our children, but that we provide the guidance that they need. And sometimes to provide that guidance, you you're not going to be a friend all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, letting go, having to learn to let go, oh, something yes. that doesn't get as much attention, something that both Mary and Joseph had to do specifically when Jesus was hanging on that cross. Yeah. I mean, who wants to see their, their child hanging on a cross dying? But that was his destiny. They had to let go. Well, thank you, Zach. And of course, you can watch Update with Bill Harris every week here on TV44. As we told you earlier in the show, this month celebrates the one-year anniversary or the birthday of Faith and Friends. The past 52 weeks, we've eaten, laughed, interviewed some great people, eaten some more, and hopefully encouraged you along the way. We've also shared music with you, and today we're going to share some more. In fact, we're giving away an incredible prize opportunity in an upcoming concert at Nice Swanger in Van Wert. Solid Gold Christmas with Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. How about that? This concert is December 19th, so it is coming up soon. And here is what the grand prize winner will receive. Two tickets to the concert, a signed book from Marilyn and Billy, two signed CDs, plus backstage passes to meet the husband and wife duo after the show. What a great package. All right. And all you have to do to win is email faithandfriends at WTLW.com with the following information your name, phone number, email address, and share with us the one person you would take with you to this concert and why. All entries will be gathered in a hat. Winner will be drawn this coming Sunday, December 13th, and will be notified the following day. Marilyn McCoo, Billy Davis Jr. Enter to win one of this incredible prize package. Lots and lots of great stuff coming up. Thanks to the Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center as well for being a wonderful partner with us here on TV44. <laughs> Well, not so incredible in the month of December is the increasing amount of sickness and flu. Well, Dr. Trudy Pieper is back with some recommendations on how to fight those pesky bugs. She's with Dancy. We are entering the winter months and, and we kind of dread that because we're stuck inside and it seems if one of us is sick, then, you know, chances are we may all end up getting something. Right. But there are ways to fight it, right? Absolutely. There's, there's five herbs I always recommend people have on hand for the winter season. Okay. And with these five herbs, you're going to be able to solve just about every cold, flu, uh, cough, bronchitis that you may have in your family. Okay. And so just a little bit of knowledge will help you here with that. The first one I always recommend is nettles, also known as stinging nettles. And I like nettles because it's just the best multivitamin, multi-mineral you will ever have. In it, God created in such a way that every mineral and vitamin known to mankind is in stinging nettles. Hmm. So if, if no other use is, is a way of bolstering your health besides your immune system is to take stinging nettles in capsule or you can drink it as a tea. But it's high in iron and vitamin C. And that's the great combination because you cannot absorb iron without vitamin C. 
So God in his wisdom put the two together no and it's a very natural way of getting extra iron into your system. And we know iron is what we need for red blood cells, which gives us our energy in our bodies, not to not only fight off colds, but to give us the energy for life. Right. So right. Um, it also is great because um, it expels uric acid from the kidneys. So that's going to keep your kidneys and your urinary tract flowing and healthier. It's anti-inflammatory, so for people who have arthritis, it's excellent to drink a little nettle tea. It'll help you uh, clear out the, the uric acid and uh, the inflammatories that are in your system okay. so that you can move a little better. And it, it boosts your immune system. So this sounds like a, a no-brainer, you yes. know, so to speak, really, and especially for women. Yes, um, I like it particularly with women who are still um, menstruating, still having their periods. Okay. Every time you have a monthly blood loss, you need to replace that blood, and iron's really important for that. Yes. Um, and you need an absorbable iron. Many times if you find an inorganic iron, it will constipate you and have all these extra problems. Iron's very easy uh, to get from nettles. Drink nettles tea, it, you can buy it at the health food store in tea bags. Just throw a tea bag in if you're already drinking tea, green mm -hmm. tea, which you know is one of the things yeah. my go to. Yeah, yes it is. Drink your green tea, throw in a nettle bag with it and you can get your iron with that. How about elder? Elder, elderberry. Um, I, I always laugh and say, if you've got mucus, get Sambucus. <laughs> and <laughs> Sambucus is the Latin name for elderberry. Oh. And you'll see Sambucus a lot in, in stores. There's a lot of products made for children that's Sambucus. But it is the go-to for any mucus that you may have. It's from the honeysuckle family. It grows in all of our areas in your yards. You may have someone who has an elderberry bush. Get to know them well mm -hmm. so that you can go and you can capture the flowers bloom in late spring. You gather those up. They're great for fevers. If children have fevers, if you take the flowers, you brew them into a tea and give that to a drink, it will immediately break their fever. So it's great for that. It's also good, and I just recently had this. My two grandchildren came to see me this weekend, and they got they had pink eye, Aww. conjunctivitis. So yeah. uh, I didn't want it, and I didn't want them to have any more. So we brewed some flowers from the elderberries, and we put that in everybody's eye. Within 24 hours, everybody's healed and moving on. So just another tip That's with amazing. how amazing elder flowers will do that. Yeah. The berries are really good because they're, um, they inhibit the viruses from entering the cells. So it's the best viral uh, product that you can get. That And because uh, in medicine, there are no drugs that will treat viruses. If mm -hmm. you have a virus, or you go see your doctor, he's going to tell you, there's nothing I can do about it. Go home and you know, yeah, drink right. liquids. But actually, the Sambucus, the uh, elderberry, will stop those invaders from getting into the cells. So having that on hand will stop your viral infections immediately. So, and it tastes great, it tastes like berries. Really? So it's one of those products, a lot of times when we have problems with our children, is to try to find something that they will take. Yes, yes. They don't like bitter medicine, but this is easy to, for them to take. We're running out of time. I want to mention these last two because I associate them with something totally different. <laughs> um, we own cats, so um, catnip is something that, that humans can take. Right, it's, it's mini and lemon. It's part of the mint family. It makes your cat friendly, which if you have cats, there you go. It's, it's, there's oh a positive boy. of that. It's loaded with vitamin C and E, which are antioxidants that fight off free radical damage, which causes illness. So it's important to have that. But mostly why you want it in your arsenal for the winter is because it soothes the stomach and the nerves. So if you've got a little upset tummy and you feel a little nauseous, you might have a stomach flu, you need catnip to okay. do that. Okay, and then marshmallow, we don't just put it in our hot chocolate then, right? I know, people think that small little fluffy sugar cube, and yes. that's not, this is different, this is marshmallow, that's marshmallow. Oh, oh there and you go. And marshmallow is a root of a really pretty uh, plant, but it has this wonderful quality that it soothes membranes all throughout your body. So if you have cough, laryngitis, bronchitis, a cold, or hoarseness, uh, marshmallow will solve that problem. It, it soothes it and makes it easier uh, so you don't feel so rough there and um, calms it down. Don't forget you can view this and all of Dr. Trudy's health segments as many times as you would like on our website, WTLW.com. Click on Faith and Friends. 
Of course, Faith and Friends is one of the many shows offered on WTLW. Thanks to viewers like you. We're part of our, we're in the midst of our annual campaign drive as we seek to raise $200,000 for our annual operating budget for 2015. I'd like to take some time now to thank some folks who've already partnered with us with their donations, including Mrs. Janet Stecky from Lima and Ms. Kathleen Davis, also in Lima. Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Zeller of Ottawa, thank you so much for your monthly gift. Mr. and Mrs. Donald Snyder of Wapakoneta, also a monthly gift. And Mr. and Mrs. William Williams of New Bremen, thank you as well for your gift. Look at this stack, and this is just so a many portion people, yeah. of all the individuals connecting with us. I have a few more, Mr. and Mrs. Wendell Miller, Mrs. Lois Haberkamp, and Mrs. Shirley Moore from Kenton. Thank you so much being a part of our ministry and sewing into the ministry of TV44. And that wraps it up for us this week on Faith and Friends. Hope you enjoyed the special birthday celebration <laughs> program with our future hosts and co-hosts of Faith and Friends. And thank you for being part of the Faith and Friends for an entire year. Mm. Have a great week, everyone.